Good morning, everyone. The intentions for Holy Mass this morning, in thanksgiving for the blessings received through the intercession of Our Lady, for Nora Segovia on her birthday, for Father Pat Norton, Father Alan Rieger, Patrick and Effie Hawk Seang, and those recommended to our prayers, and for the repose of the souls of Father Hugh Boyle, Silesian, uh, Simone Bennett, and Kamaski Ama Nair, for the souls in purgatory, for the conversion of sinners, and the reign of God's kingdom on earth. God sent his son, born of a woman, so that we might receive adoption as children. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate, we ask the Lord for a humble and contrite heart. You have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who through your only begotten Son have made us a new creation for yourself, grant, we pray, that by your grace we may be found in the likeness of him in whom our nature is united to you, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, this is the confidence which we have in the Son of God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have obtained the requests made of him. If anyone sees his brother committing what is not a deadly sin, he will ask, and God will give him life for those whose sin is not deadly. There is sin which is deadly. I do not say that one is to pray for that. All wrongdoing is sin, but there is sin which is not deadly. We know that anyone born of God does not sin, but he who was born of God keeps him, and the evil one does not touch him. We know that we are of God, and the whole world is in the power of the evil one. And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding to know him who is true, and we are in him who is true in his Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker. Let Zion's children exult in their King. The Lord takes delight in His people. Let them praise His name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in His people. 
He crowns the poor with salvation. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory and rejoice as they take their rest. Let the praise of God be in their mouths. This is an honor for all his faithful. The Lord takes delight in his people. Alleluia. Alleluia. The people who sat in darkness have seen a great light. And for those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus and his disciples went into the land of Judea. There he remained with them and baptized. John was also baptizing at Anon near Salim because there was much water there and people came and were baptized for John had not yet been put in prison. Now, a discussion arose between John's disciples and a Jew over purifying. And they came to John and said to him, Rabbi, he who was with you beyond the Jordan, to whom you bore witness, here he is baptizing, and all are going to him. John answered, No one can receive anything except what is given him from heaven. You yourselves bear me witness that I said, I am not the Christ, but I have been sent before him. He who has the bride is the bridegroom, the friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears him, rejoices greatly at the bridegroom's voice. Therefore, this joy of mine is now full. He must increase, but I must decrease. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We know from the other writings in the New Testament, especially the book of Acts, that there were two kind of schools, if you like. One uh, school of John the Baptist. And right into New Testament times, uh, this group, John's people, uh, remained a group of religious people preparing uh, to welcome the Messiah. And, of course, there was the group following Jesus in Judea, the Jesus people, we might call them. And these two groups were at work, both John and Jesus, baptizing, as was prophesied. And, of course, people looking at this and uh, wondering, well, how do these groups get on and when they rivals and so on. And so the, today's gospel makes it very clear that John's group was preparatory. And John himself acknowledges that that was his vocation. He must prepare the way for the bridegroom. And now that he has come, John is able to say, this joy of mine is now full because the Lord has come. And John himself was about to disappear into prison and indeed to death, to beheading. But it underlines, this gospel this morning, underlines a fundamental 
gospel attitude, which we see vividly in John the Baptist, and that is humility. Humility that is unafraid of the truth. A humility that speaks the truth and does not appropriate to oneself things that are not one's own. And hence the golden rule, another golden rule uh, within Christianity is that he, Christ, must increase. We must decrease. This is elaborated also in the Gospels. It's a question for Matthew in chapter 16. And it's a question of loss and gain. Matthew reminds us that Jesus said, anyone who wants to save his life, to preserve his life, to promote himself, will lose it. But anyone who loses his life for my sake will find it. We will find our true selves in losing the false self. So we must decrease that false self that tends to blow us up and promote us and present us as whatever we want to be presented as, whereas the truth, the reality of the truth, of our truth, means that we acknowledge our weakness, our fragility, indeed, our sin. And in doing that, we are exalted. The joy of ours is full in Jesus. Without Jesus, our life is empty. So we pray today, through the intercession of St. John the Baptist, that we too would learn the gospel lesson of decreasing, of allowing Jesus to increase in our lives and give glory to him who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. 
It will become our spiritual drink. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the peace and glory of the saints, for our Lord and the good of all to His O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new, by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, your glory, Hosanna in the highest, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we Until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. And through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As Jesus taught us, so we have the courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, may God the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Turn your life to us.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. That you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace.
Let us pray. May your people, O Lord, whom you guide and sustain in many ways, experience both now and in the future the remedies which you bestow, that with the needed solace of things that pass away, they may strive with ever deepened trust for things eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against and snares of the devil. And we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into heaven, Satan, and all evil spirits, wander through the world. Amen. 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 Am